This video will show how to make one point correction. This is a reagent solution, QC solution with the machine. Uh, we can check the load number at the bottom of the of the bottle. The warranty period is two years before opening the before opening. But when the bottle is opened, the the validity or warranty is one month. So when you use a pen to mark the date on the bottle, so, so it will be obvious. Uh, so this one is al already uh, invalid, so we use a new one. And this one is uh, open today, and we use open open it. We use a bullet tube to take some solution, prepare for using later. You can use bullet tube or other small containers to take the solution. After calibration, the machine will show this menu uh, and we'll use press no to change the options go to service menu then we go to maintains press yes and we go to the uh, the last one the electrode correction press yes then we use one point correction and press yes because we need to set the target. Uh, here, we press no to change numbers, uh, and we press yes to confirm that this digit, this digit value. So here, we press no to change it uh, to the third digit, and press yes to confirm. So sure, press yes. We change other parameters. Uh, use the same way to set others. Then here we almost down to for setting the target value. Then we wait for a while. After for a while, it will show this page. Then we use uh, this solution to the feed the sample probe. Then press yes and close the sample probe. It will do the one point correcting automatically. still need to wait for a while. Later it will show the counter. And this is the uh, correction uh, factor for each parameters. Later it will show the main menu, then we use uh, the rest solution to run the test as a sample. Uh, we use uh, the first function, analyze sample, press yes. According to the prompt menu, uh, prompt message, do the is do the operations. Uh, we we'll lift the sample probe and feed the solution. Press yes. And close the uh, sample probe. 
it will test it automatically. Uh, this is the test result of the solution. We can compare it with the target value of the QC solution. Then we can do uh, several times to check the stability of the analyzer. We can do the same procedure. This is the second uh, result of the QC solution. Uh, so then we can use the pen to note down the numbers according to the sequence. Uh, then we can note down the results and use a calculator to calculate the uh, mean value and SD and the CV values. Then we can know the stability of the analyzer.